little slug, the old uh, mouth brow. <laughs> so crazy. <laughs> So if you do a donation of $5 or more, I'll send you out a couple of JoJo Moto stickers just to sweeten the deal a little bit. G'day and welcome to JoJo Moto. Today we are doing it all for charity. Well, as you can see, I got the old upper lip slug, the old uh, mouth brow, the old, uh, I don't even know what to call it, going on. Uh, it is Movember. So we're making a video today all about Movember and charity and what we're gonna do to help some people out. All right, for those that don't know, it is uh, November, which means it's Movember time for me. And it's all about men's health and it means a lot to me uh, for this charity. So what we might do is we'll jump on the bike, go for a rip around, and I'll do a little bit of a voiceover and let you know uh, exactly what Movember is all about. So some people may ask, what is Movember all about? So here we go. Movember is the leading charity changing the face of men's health on a global scale, focusing on men's health and suicide prevention, prostate cancer and testicular cancer. Your donation will help us to continue what we've started and fund world-class programs that are saving and improving the lives of men. Thank you. Together, we are changing the face of men's health. Alright, so that is what Movember is all about. If you're not here to watch this video fully, just click on the link below and donate now. And see you later. Thank you so much for your support. If you're keen to stick around, there's a few freebies, a few giveaway things and um, a whole lot of fun, silly footage is going to happen as well, so stick around for that if you're keen. But if not, click on that link, donate now, and um, I'd be very, very grateful, and so would the men around Australia. All right, so our next little segment here is uh, the day that I went out to a random farm and test rode a YZ85, a, uh, a friend's um, kid's bike, and Mr. Luke and I ripped around for a while, and geez, man, what a whole lot of fun. Anyway, let's uh, roll on that footage now. Things are big. Why that Jeez, man.
How do you ride this thing? That is incredible! That is so much fun, huh? It feels faster than my bike, you know? You're just like, oh my god! The KTM 300. That's same as my Okay. There we go, there's YZ85 time. What an awesome little rip around that was. Anyhow, let's get back on to the Movember stuff. So, a couple little details about it. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing this month is every bit of ad revenue that I get will be going straight into my Movember fund, as well as any Patreon supporters um, donations as well. That's gonna go straight into the Movember fund this month. So, appreciate everyone's support by watching the videos and the amazing Buy Me A Beer supporters because uh, some of your cash this uh, month is going to go straight into that account and it's for an amazing cause. Something very close and dear to my heart, um, my father had prostate cancer and you know, one in three people or something, I don't even know the stats, but um, I've got a couple of brothers and one of us may end up with prostate cancer as well down the track, so you know, it's something near and dear to my heart as, as well as mental health. You guys saw the video um, that Mr. Reese puts out, Mr. Reese and I always talking about mental health issues and um, he's very, very passionate about it. So even if you're just donating uh, for the No Joe Moto uh, episode with uh, Mr. Reese and talking about mental health, just click on that link and um, you know it will be much, much appreciated. It's all down there in the description. The main thing though, uh, for those that are willing to donate, um, if you are keen, I am happy to help support that. So my little plan here as well as donating all of my um, monthly funds uh, for November is also if you do a donation of $5 or more, just send me a contact with, you know, I've done the donation of $5, maybe just do a screenshot or something like that, and I'll send you out a couple of JoJo Moto stickers just to sweeten the deal a little bit uh, because I just want to try and raise as many funds as we can for that uh, awesome cause. So yeah, if you're keen on that, just like I said, screenshot and um, send it through to the Jojo Moto Facebook page so I can see stuff and um, I'll send you out a couple of free stickers just for helping out and supporting because I really do appreciate it. Anyway, um, I think we're going to cut now back onto ripping around on the bike because I've got a little bit to tell you about the 300. As you can see, I'm on this, not the 300 still, um, and that's a whole other story, so I'll uh, let that video roll right now. <laughs> Yeah, this thing's kind of just like a diesel, like it doesn't have power bands, so you just shift up and click to the next gear and just start going faster. <laughs> There's no point in revving it out. <laughs> Alright, it's time to update uh, what's been going on with the 300. It's still in the shop. Um, it's been really good. DJ Motorcycles in Noosa. Fantastic, fantastic company. And they've been, you know, he's just so committed. He's like, I'm not letting this bike leave without it being fixed. So, he's super dedicated to getting it done. Um, so, yeah, really, really appreciate their support. It's been amazing. And so since I um, last updated with the 300, I don't know exactly where we got up to or what was what was happening with it, but um, look, he did a like a bottom end um, pressure test, made up this uh, machine and whatever to do the pressure test and test the, uh, the the bottom end seal, everything sealing down there. And uh, whilst doing so, he checked the reeds again and found that they were a little bit a little bit cracked and chipped, um, but that wasn't the issue. I got some new set of reeds anyway coming for it, which is, you know, obviously needed doing anyway. Uh, but in doing that process, he uh, found that it was leaking somewhere in the bottom end, in the crank or whatever, and uh, started taking off a few things, a few covers, and found that the uh, the right-hand crank seal, which thankfully is one of the, like, external type seals, uh, was leaking, and not leaking at the actual seal. Like, it's a bit hard to picture, but... Um, I'll try and throw in a video. I've got some really like potato quality videos going uh, that he sent me, but it's actually where the where the seal seals around the actual crank. It's the outside part that seals on the actual case. So metal to metal is leaking in there, which is a weird one. Like I I don't know. I've never seen it before myself. So look, he's gonna replace that for me. I said, look, just do it. 
I'm not going to take it back just to replace the seal. It's, you know, half an hour job sort of thing, really. Um, so he's going to be doing that for us. And then I said, look, just keep it. You guys do it because then you've got it. And if it's still not running right after that, then you've still got the bike. <laughs> Rather than me doing the crank seal and it's not that. Um, and then I'm going to take it back down again. Um, so I just said, go for it. And um, so he's happy to do that. And yeah, fingers crossed. I just want my bike back, you know. I really do. I've loved, like, you know, riding this and riding Mr. Reese's bike. It's been really fun, but I just want my 300 back. I just want to fall in love with that thing all over again because it hasn't been the best of relationships over the last six months or so. We've had our testing times together, you know, blowing up when I took it away with the jet ski uh, the first time and then the knocking issue and then the running bad issue now. I'm like, oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway, that's uh, that's the basics of the update for the 300. It's um, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, I do keep uh, keep an eye on Gumtree though for uh, Beta 200 double R's. That's for sure because they know no new ones until February apparently in Australia. Oh, who knows what'll happen there? But um, anyway, that's the update for the 300. And uh, yeah. Back to you in the shed, Mr. Jojo M -m 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 Moto. All right, man, this bike is a whole lot of fun for being such an old bike. Um, I don't know if you've seen all the episodes. This is like well, well out of order. There's nothing in order at the moment on the channel, but um, I got to take this out to Imbal the other day and go for a rip around with Mr. Reese. And it's an awesome bike. It doesn't get up on the power band, but it doesn't matter with all the riding that we did. Anyway, you guys will see that video. It's a, a really, really fun ride. So, uh, with all of that done, it is uh, time to finish up the video. I'm just going to roll on for the last little bit of the video some drone footage that I don't think you guys have seen. Uh, Mr. Luke riding this and um, Minimoto out on his Peewee as well and just some awesome drone footage. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for clicking that support button down the bottom there and um, doing the Movember thing. It, it means so much to me. I've said it all before, but I really do appreciate it. Free stickers coming your way if you send me some stuff. So. Thanks for watching, hit the subscribe, notifications, drop a comment, um, do all the other social media stuff and I uh, will see you guys on the next ride. Let's uh, roll on that drone footage. bummed uh, after last weekend's ride which you guys haven't seen yet on this uh, Mr. Luke's 200 out at Imbal. Uh, you guys haven't seen it but um, we had a cracking ride and I was you know so keen to do it again this weekend. Uh, Mr. Reese is out and about so like dang it I don't want to go out there by myself on this bike you know <laughs> who knows what will happen but um, yeah I reckon I'll take it out again maybe next weekend if uh, if the 300 isn't back for sure it's a really really fun bike to ride all sorts of things happening uh, on the compound I'm selling the Evinrude 15 that I used to tow the kids on 
with a little tinny, putting the eight horsepower back on and getting that tuned in service because it doesn't run too well at the moment. Uh, the road bike is uh, still going strong, but got a few little things I want to start tweaking with that and uh, maybe take that for a ride over the holidays. I don't know yet. Um, the Peewee is always running well and I love riding that around in the afternoons. Sea Doo Spark, uh, sold. It's gone, it's gone next week. Um, time for a bigger and better ski with the kids and everything and doing all the stuff that we do. Uh, we're getting a bigger ski, so Sea Doo Spark, it's been awesome, but uh, see you later. Love that ski, man. That's made a lot of memories. A lot of memories. Wish that B would ping off. I need something to get it. <clears throat> Moto, today we are doing it all for charity. Man, that was super cheesy. So cheesy, I can taste it. <laughs>